Gabe Heller here, G. Hohen Zollern on YouTube, and How Now Brown Couch on Twitch. And I don't have my logo up because I'm going to be doing some more Project Flux Hardcore play today. Survive! Yes, that's what I will be trying to do. Okay, create a new world. Hardcore World 2. More world options. So let's give it a seed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That will be the seed. And we want to make the mode hardcore. Okay, here we go. Creating a new world. Okay, let's see what we've got for a world here. Let's see if it's the kind of world we can survive in. If I die within the first five minutes, I think I get to restart. But uh, if I get a little, get much further than that, if I get myself a house built in time for the first night, then I think. Uh, then I think that will be that will be it. Okay, so this looks pretty good. We've got planes, we've got some trees. We don't want to go too far to chop down some trees. So I think we're gonna head over this away. To this tree? Yeah, to this tree. Now do you see any berries on the ground? It'd be really nice if we had some berries like we did last time. Because having a source of food underground is very important. Achievements, achievements making me lag. Okay, crafting table. Let's make ourselves an axe and a pickaxe. We can chop down some more of this tree. Now be careful how much tree we chop down, though, because it can attract spriggans. Okay, pickaxe. Good. Axe. Good. Now last time I chopped down the tree from bottom to top, but what I think I'm going to do this time is I'm going to chop down... I mean, I chopped down the top of the tree first. This time I think I'm going to chop down the bottom of the tree first. So I have a kind of a built-in little hovel underground that I can just quickly put a roof on and be safe if it comes to that. Where are you? Ooh, a deviating lily. Those can be useful. Okay, let's just have a quick look around here on the planes. Planes are relatively safe from uh, horrible Gaia mobs, at least during the day. Other biomes, you'll run into Gaia mobs any time of the day. But planes can be relatively safe. And I just want to make sure that I don't see any berries around here, because berries would make my life considerably easier. Wow, I don't see any berries around. That is kind of depressing. I'm gonna have to break some some grass for seeds. Oh look, we've got a fortress over there. Maybe all before we can afford to go over there. There is a zombie. That I don't want to have to deal with. A scary looking zombie too. Leafy garden? Okay, good. That has some food in it. Another leafy garden, more food. Okay. So we are not completely out of food. Now, where's that tree we were chopping down? It's, oh, gosh. There's a zombie somewhere. Where's the zombie? I hear him. This could be really bad. There's some pretty tough zombies. Uh, I hope he was just the one that was floating around in the water. And it'll take him long enough to get to me. I hope. And I can at least dig out another layer of this and place a quick roof over my head. Like so. And we can tell it worked because it's dark as heck in here. That's one of the things we're going to want to uh, remedy as quickly as possible. So I'm going to dig a quick staircase here down to stone. Excellent. some more charcoal. 
use this charcoal for torches. And apparently also for whatever the hell that was. What is that? Graphite. Interesting. I swear that that's not the kind of graphite that I've ever used. That's not the graphite from big reactors anyway, and that's the main one that I've ever made use of. Okay, so that's going to be the edge in one direction of our little room here. I'm just going to go around and even out the room a little bit. Some zinc. Zinc's useful for making buckets. Okay, looks like we need to go one more yet. I'm just using the roots of the tree to determine the size of the room. Okay, so that seems to be all of the wood in the walls. So we'll go ahead and light up this corner and this corner, and we can go one further in this direction. Why don't we go ahead and fill in some of this dirt here, the rest of the ceiling. There we go. Okay. Some salt ore here from Pam's Harvest Craft. I have no idea that will be useful, but we do have some Pam's Harvest Craft vegetables they went down and eating, so might be useful to have that. And then I think we just go down another level here. Probably going to want to have some stone, so I'll start cooking up some stone. And so there's a little ore here that we're probably going to want to dig up. We'll want some uh, stone to replace it with. There we go. And we'll probably want to make a chest to store some of the superfluous items that we picked up in. <laughs> Let's throw the andesite in there for now. Uh, water our chuck for witchery. Probably not going to do any witchery anytime soon. Okay, that's probably all we want to throw in there for now. Let's see if we can eat this Brussels sprout. We are a little hungry. Interesting. It just gave us... Huh. That's weird. I'm going to want some more torches for making a staircase downstairs. We definitely want to plant some stuff up here first. Uh, so let's make a little garden in one corner here. We haven't made a bucket yet, and even if we did, it's very unsafe to go out and looking for water at this moment. So we'll hope we find some water underground that we can bring up here and do in use instead. Want to plant some barley. Want to plant some cotton, sure. Want to plant some seeds. I want to plant some industrial hemp seeds. Now, they aren't going to grow much without water, but at least they'll be here. 
and get a little bit of a head start. Yeah, let's go ahead and head on down. We've got some sort of quartz here. I can use that to make a, a rather nice sword. At least for early game. I'll not have to use up iron on it. So I guess I'll go back up, even though it's going to use up a little hunger here. And go back up and make that sword right now, so we've got a sword. Um, I could also make some wooden armor, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Well, it's better than nothing. Unless there's zinc armor. Does not look like there is zinc armor. Okay. Okay, so we've got some wooden leggings. Wooden hat. Wooden chest plate. This is all Tinker's stuff, and wooden boots. There we go. Now this is not going to be an awful lot of uh, protection, but it's better than nothing. Let's see what I look like here. Kind of ridiculous, not textured, but at least I have some armor. Okay, then we also wanted to make that sword I was talking about, so... Das or just quartz sword. Oh, we've got an untextured ore here. This must be a uh, poor tin ore from Railcraft. Hey, and some iron finally. Excellent. Uh oh. Something's going on down there. This could be very dangerous. And the fact that it, it looks like it's actually a crevasse. I don't think I want to mess with crevasses, not in hardcore. Uh, so I'm just going to take my spiral staircase over a little bit here. Ordinarily I would never do this, but uh, what is this? Lead ore. Hmm. Well, I can make an iron pickaxe now, so maybe I'll do that. Okay, now I know that there's a... a big old uh, crevasse that way, so I'm not going to try and dig up that lead ore now, besides which I, you almost always end up with more lead ore than you need. Uh, yeah, there's silver and lead ore all over here. Here's some more already. This is much safer to dig, so we'll dig this instead. And some osmium as well. Perfect. I'm hearing some lava nearby, so it certainly pays to be careful here. I don't want to uh, let some lava in and have it just kill me. I would hope that it's just like at the bottom of that crevasse. Got some lapis, some more lapis. Got some Thaumcraft ores. I don't think I'm going to mess with Thaumcraft right away. It's a very dangerous mod to even like do relatively safe things with. Wow, all kinds of stuff. Is that gold? We may have found gold ore. There's some other ores that kind of are the same color. Hey, I found the lava! Now that's, I guess, safer than not finding the lava, or running into any, any other fashion. Hello, all that lava. I'm going to leave you alone for now. And probably forever. Oh wow, it is all around the place. Okay, what do we got we don't need here? We can combine the dirt? No, we can't. Can we combine the dirt? Okay, well we've got the gold ore now anyway. Yeah, it looks like we could combine the dirt. So... There's lava on the other side of this gold ore. Eh, 
I am not brave enough to dig it, not in hardcore mode. What is this? Uranium? I don't think I need uranium yet. That makes this 11, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So, go ahead and build a little base here. I should get dinos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, want, I really want something that can kill me very easily. I want pets that can kill me in hardcore. Definitely, no. <laughs> really don't. <laughs> uh, there are probably some safer ones that I can I could go into if people are really interested in me getting dinos. Luck we can find out where that water is. Be a very useful thing right about now. Some underground water that I could put in a zinc bucket and take upstairs to water my crops so they grow a little faster and I can actually have some food before I starve to death. You can totally starve to death in hardcore mode, I'm pretty sure. The problem we had before is we stowed all of our ores in a chest, and then when we were running away, we didn't have access to any of our ores to make ourselves good armor or anything. Hmm. So I'm going to be careful about what ores I store in here. I'm going to mainly store the ones that can't be used for making armor. Okay, so let's see what happens if we eat a lettuce. Is this really... It doesn't actually fill up our hunger bar at all. It's just weird. Oh no, it does. It's just just kind of a flashing there. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Well, might as well eat them while they do us some good. Okay. Well, that's all the food we had. <laughs> okay. So there's some bones on the stairs. Ooh, I've got some charged shirtless quartz. Or did they despawn? Did I lose them? While I was sitting there talking about making a chest so that I wouldn't lose them. I think I did. <laughs> Dope. Oh well, it's not like there aren't plenty of other fossils around uh, in the walls and everywhere. Okay, let's keep looking for stuff. Might be wondering why I'm bothering filling, st uh, digging ores that I don't need yet. Well, diamonds are all over here, so if I can get an ore that I will need eventually and at the same time look for diamonds, that seems worth it to me. Uh, but I think it's time we started building some of the uh, stairs that we need to go upstairs. Okay, gotta be careful here. There's the ravine. Maybe it's not as much a ravine as I thought it was. It still kind of looks like one. Okay, we need to go make more stairs. Well, it must be getting kind of near the surface, because I can hear it raining. Hopefully that'll be enough stairs to get us up to the top.
Oh. <laughs> if I'd have just looked, I'd have seen that I was two from the top. That's right, because this is underground, so it's closer. That means we can just place the rest of these along the wall where they're going to eventually be. There we go, that'll be our staircase up to the top. So how are we doing here? We got some barley. That's, that's mature, that's nice. The rest of these are... Okay, well, we got some bone meal. So let's see what we can do with that. Looks like the barley grows faster anyway. What I think I can do, if I remember correctly, is I can turn the barley into flour. Yeah. And I think I can also... I think I just can then just cook that flour into loaves. Let's see if I'm right about that. Yes! There we go. All right. We got some food. That's excellent. We're done up here because uh, I don't really have good armor yet. I'll give that all time to grow and we'll go expand our base downstairs. And that looks like... Is that what I think it is? Manganese? Wow, you know, I almost never find manganese until I, like, have a digital miner with which to, uh, to mine it directly. Oh, hello. This is rather dangerous manganese. I'm, I'm taking a, quite a chance even exposing myself to here, because there may be guys, mobs down there with horrible bows that could shoot me and just kill me horribly. But for manganese, oops, <laughs> for manganese it's worth it. Wow, an ancient sword. It's broken, but still, I just haven't I just got an ancient sword. Oh, it's an ancient helmet actually. Well, that could be more useful to us actually, but I think we'd need we've got some relic scrap. We might could repair it. I will use this iron instead to make some ore doubling. If I can do it before I've used up too much of my osmium, I'll have enough osmium to make osmium armor. And then I'll head outside, since you're so anxious. Let me do that quickly. I usually would stay down here until I got diamonds, and made a digital miner, and <laughs> went to the nether, and... We need uh, an infuser. There we go. Metallurgic infuser. Okay, which is iron, iron, redstone. Oh, we need redstone. I haven't found redstone yet, have I? Okay, oh, I gotta keep mining. There's some in the ceiling right over there, so I don't know what I'm bothering with this for. Okay. Hello, redstone. Eight iron, four osmium. Let's see what we can do with that. Certain make a metallurgic infuser. Okay, so we need three more, is it? Yeah, three more. Oh, and we need stone bricks, so we need to cook up some stone. Stone bricks. So we make that. The piston, the furnace, and the gears give us a sterling generator. Excellent. Okay. Let's pick up our sterling generator. Put it here. The metallurgic infuser here. 
I'm, I'm going to do some more mining because I don't have enough coal yet. There's some coal over there I'm about to run into, so that'll help quite a bit. Is this? Yeah, this has coal in it too. Sometimes you can have those artifice, um, various artifice stones that aren't stone, like basalt and gray cobblestone and stuff can have ores in them. And basalt especially, it's hard to see coal or in because it's the same color. <laughs> Okay, good. Now we got something to power this with. Stick some coal in there. And this two coal here should give us 20 carbon. Should be enough to make one ingot of steel. And then we've got three charcoal here. There we go. Should be enough to make the rest of it. Now the manganese is not going to be much use to us until we have a smeltery or some way of grinding stuff up. Uh, I guess maybe this will grind it up though. Let me see here. We get two manganese dust. So we can, we can make steel dust. The manganese dust and iron powder. Okay. That's right, now we need to make the uh, control circuits. Let's make the control circuits. Two redstone, two osmium ingots. That'll make us some control circuits. Is that ferrous? Uh, yep. Well, same thing anyway, it's nickel. We've got two basic control circuits. We've got four steel ingots with this osmium and these four steel ingots. We make a steel casing, and do we then have everything we need for the enrichment chamber? Let us see. Yes, we do! An enrichment chamber! Okay, let's put the enrichment chamber to work, doubling our osmium. The other thing we're going to want when we go outside is a bucket, so I'm going to go ahead and cook up some of this zinc. Okay, we start making some osmium armor here. We want a chest piece. There we go. I wonder if I can burn this. No. Ah, too bad. We want to make a bucket. There we go. So now we'll be ready to get some water when we get outside. We can also pick up lava and use it to, uh, to feed this in future. Zombies somewhere quite near here, being very vocal. <laughs> Kill that zombie. Yeah. Oh! Something's killing something! Okay, can I even tell which side of the room he's on? Sounds like he's over here somewhere, yeah, because he gets louder in this direction. Where is he? I see him through the world here. Is that a zombie? You see where the water is? There's the zombie! I see him! So I could actually potentially kill him, but he is on the other side of this pool of lava. But I want lava, so why don't I go have a look? See what I can see here. If I can do so without horrible danger. It seems to be in this direction. Okay, there's the zombie. Oh god, no! Warning, warning, this video is almost over. Warning, warning, it's time to choose another one. This has gone on far too long, time to wake up and sing along. Warning, warning, this video is over now.